There are two, two testings in the readings today. The Israelites are tested in the desert when God wanted them to uh, go and fight the uh, Canaanites and sent, uh, sent 12 of the princes up, up into, to reconnoiter the land, check it out, see if they, see what the people were like and what the conditions were, and it was a real test to them because the people there were fierce and strong and had uh, uh, strong uh, fortifications and strong cities, and they were large, like giants, they said, and um, so they rebelled against Moses and against God. They didn't believe that they could go up and fight them, even though God had done so many things to show his power and his support of them. They, 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 they wailed and they distrusted God and, and his servant Moses. They failed the test. They failed the test and God had to punish them. They'd spent 40 years 40 years in the desert, for uh, a year for the 40 days they went to reconnoiter the land. And uh, for their lack of trust in, in God. So every, every single one who distrusted God died in the desert in the, those 40 years, except for the ones who trusted Joshua and Caleb and their, and their progeny lived to fight even 40 years later, Caleb must have been in his 70s or 80s, and he was as strong as a young man, was able to still fight. They trusted in God and received the promised land for their people. And the woman in the gospel trusted in God. The woman in the gospel, who was a Canaanite woman, she trusted in, in Jesus, even though Jesus tested her and didn't answer her plea right away when she asked to have her daughter released from the demons that were tormenting her. Jesus didn't answer at all and walks away and she comes and uh, pleads with him, uh, help me. And then he tests her again. Uh, I came for the house of Israel and I don't want to send the food for the children of Israel to the dogs. And she takes up the, the bait and says, but even the dogs eat from the table of their masters and that humility wins the heart of Jesus and says your faith is so great let, you, let it be done as you wish she passes the test so the theme could be that we are all to be put to, test, to the test as well of course we know life is life itself is a test we don't even see God we don't see the f finger of God working in our life and in the thing, the events that happen of our life, but we can, with the eyes of faith, we can see pretty clearly um, the creation that God has made, the amazing things that happen in a Christian life, in a life of, of faith where we believe and we pray and we have faith. You know, our our whole life is like directed by God. We can see it, see it pretty clearly with the eyes of faith, and yet we don't see with the eyes of the eyes of our human eyes. Faith is a life of testing, a testing faith life. Our faith life is a test every day. And so we're like walking on water, walking on water, and, and but we, we believe that God is sustaining us and keeping us. And we have to walk on water till we get to the shore, which is the end of our life, to our, our death. Life is a constant act of faith and we have to pass it as this woman did with humility, recognizing that we are sinners and unworthy and yet trusting in the goodness of Jesus who's, who will say your daughter will be healed. Yes, you will have eternal life if you are faithful to me. Um, I will sustain you. Jesus promises the, the trials, he says, You'll, the rains will come and the storm will come and the earthquakes and uh, the wind will come and it will batter your house. And if you have faith and you, assist, you hold on to your faith through a con life of constant prayer, you will stand strong and, and withstand. But we have to do this with perseverance to the end as this woman did until she got what she wanted. Uh, we have to persevere as she did 
have that faith and humility requires humility. The Israelites did not have that humility, and so they complained, and they rebelled, and they wailed even. We instead are going to persistently beg God for the graces we need, all that we need through, throughout our life, and we will succeed as she did. Please.